Hey everybody, today we're talking about geothermal energy. As you know, geothermal energy is one of the clean sources of energy. By clean, we mean we don't burn anything. You know, when you burn fossil fuels or you burn biomass, wood, or um, even uh, incinerators of waste, um, you are burning things, you're putting pollutants into the air, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, in the case of coal, sulfur dioxide, and particulate matter. So these things aren't particularly clean energy, but geothermal is one type of clean energy. And if you look behind me, uh, you can see some, that's not smoke rising, that's just um, hot water vapor rising from these geothermal hot springs that we have here that are running down, coming out of the spring, a hot spring, um, and running into this river. We are in Idaho right now, outside of Crouch, Idaho. Weird name, Crouch, but beautiful little town. Uh, check it out if you're ever up in the Sawtooth Mountains. All right, let's take a closer look at these hot springs. Okay, I've just hiked up from down below where I just took that last video, all the way up these hot springs, and I found the source of where the water is coming from. So let's take a look. Okay, now I said these are hot springs. The spring is where water is coming up out of the ground. Where does the water come from? Well, it comes from rainfall that falls on the earth and slowly trickles into the ground. We call that infiltration. It infiltrates into the ground and works its way around in the ground and pops up in other places, of course, uh, places of lower elevation. So uh, eventually it'll pop back up again. And here we have it popping back up. And this spring, you can see the source. If I look above, there's no water up there. So we know that the source of the spring is right here. Now, what makes it hot? Well, that's a whole nother question. There's no burning going on, as we said. And so there needs to be another source that's heating this. It's certainly not the sun because this is underground. If you know anything about earth science, you know we live on the crust of the earth and underneath the crust is liquid hot magma, which is in the mantle, which is the lower or the intersection of the earth. And then of course, if you go further in, you have an iron core. But we're talking about the mantle. The mantle is liquid hot magma. That's where the heat comes from. And you've seen liquid hot magma come up out of the ground as lava in volcanoes. So what we have here is this water infiltrating into the ground and meeting up with places in the earth's crust where that magma is getting close to the surface of earth and heating it up and so that's what we have here we have the mantle the heat of the earth's mantle that's heating this up and it's running right into that river right there so it's actually a really cool phenomenon i mean a hot phenomenon where you have this water being heated from the earth. Um, we don't have to do anything to heat it, right? That's the thing with geothermal energy. It's already heated and so we don't have to do it. So what we can do is if we find these spots that are really hot, we can drill into the earth, send water down there, heat up that water, bring it back up and use it to boil water, to create steam, to drive a turbine, to generate electricity, connect it to a generator and generate electricity. Okay, so we don't need coal to burn, we don't need biomass to burn, um, we don't need hydropower to move the turbine. What we use is the heat of the earth to create the steam that drives that turbine. It's a thermal power plant. Well, there's no thermal power plant right here, although Idaho has a lot of geothermal energy and is one of the leading states in geothermal power. So look it up. There's a lot of the western states because they're so mountainous. 
Um, there's ancient volcanoes here. There's a lot of geothermal energy that's going on. Uh, you don't get that out back east. But here in the west, you get a lot of it. Um, but there's no geothermal power plant right here. This is all natural. This is the natural um, landscape in the National Forest. This is Boise National Forest. And I'm going to show you something cool about hot springs that I like to do, and it's the reason I'm up here right now. All right, this is it. This is the reason I came up here, is to see that these uh, rocks have been placed here by people um, to hold back the water and to create a little pool here. So what you have is a hot springs pool. All of this hot water coming in, being trapped by the rocks and eventually overflowing. And look, they set up some other pools here and all the way down into the river, there's another pool. You can imagine that pool is a lot cooler than this pool up here. And so people come up here and relax. These are natural mineral waters. There's no chlorine, there's no impurities in the water and um, people say they're very healing and very good for you very therapeutic and indeed the native americans um, would consider hot springs sacred and very healing so i'm going to partake right now and see how it goes all right just about to get into the hot spring let's see Okay, yeah, that's hot. All right, I'm gonna get comfortable in here and relax and take my natural bath in beautiful Boise National Forest in Idaho. Just wanted you guys to see the beauty of geothermal energy, how it's super clean, comes from the earth. Um, there's obviously disadvantages to it. It's very expensive. You can't do it everywhere, um, but there's also advantages. And one of the other advantages besides getting clean energy is that recreation. We can use it for beautiful hot springs. All right, you guys, I hope you guys get to a hot springs one day. Um, it's an amazing experience and you're gonna love it. All right, bye-bye.